What's up guys, Alex here with the second part of my motion tracking tutorial series for Sony Vegas. Now in the last tutorial we uh, motion tracked text to this footage right here and it was pretty simple. All we needed was two keyframes and the very first keyframe we, we just angled the text so that it looked like it was in the scene and then for the very last keyframe all we had to do was uh, scale the text out since the camera was basically zooming out. Uh, in this particular footage. Now in this uh, tutorial we're going to be learning how to motion track the text to this little bar right here and it's pretty different from the last tutorial since uh, the camera is basically uh, revolving around this uh, pole and you're going to have, you're still going to have two keyframes but you're going to have two very different keyframes and you need to change the degrees and angles of the text between the two keyframes. So just to recap and give you a better idea of what the uh, text orientation does. Uh, so before we go on that, let's create a new video track. Uh, put some text in here and then you want to go into your compositing mode of your text track and set it to 3D source alpha. Then go into your track motion. Now you see you have your orientation and rotation these are basically the same thing so uh, usually I just go to rotation to change the angles of the text so here are the rotation the X Y and Z rotation and I'm gonna head on into cinema 40 just to give you guys a very quick look of what angles these uh, X Y and Z orientation uh, angles do so for the X orientation basically it's this little red line right here so if I ch change any of the values of the X orientation it will basically go back and forth now if I head on over to the uh, Y rotation which is this little green line right here and I rotate it it's gonna go uh, basically side to side at an angle and last but not least we have the Z uh, axis rotation which is this little blue line right here and that's basically tilting the text on its side. So that's the basic idea of how the X, Y, and Z rotation works in Sony Vegas. So you want to go ahead and uh, make sure that you dragged out your text all the way to how long the footage is. Oh, and by the way, I've included the link to download this exact same footage in case you want to follow along with me. So uh, make sure you download it first and when you import it, make sure your text media generator is as long as the footage. So go back into track motion and the first thing we want to do is basically get this little box and uh, move it towards the same general area as this little uh, pole. Now we, what we want to do is find a little spot on the footage to where we want to motion track it to. So when you go to a different part of the footage, uh, we want to motion track some part of the letter uh, in the same space as some part of the footage. So to get the angle or to have the same exact angle as this little pull right here, you want to go ahead and change the Y rotation. Now you want to set it to a negative value so that the text is uh, going angled downwards so probably about negative 25 would work best 27 and you don't really need to change the X or Z rotation since uh, there's no other angles that uh, you need to alter for this text. Now what you do need to pay attention close to is where the text is on the pole. So if I go to a different part of the footage, uh, I know exactly where uh, or in the same area where the text was next to the footage. So let's go back to our first keyframe and it's right next to this little object right here. So I know now where to motion track it. So I want to go to the very last place or section in my footage. 
and I want to get this box and kind of bring it closer and closer to the same general area where my text was uh, where my text originally was now as you see here the angle is a little bit off um, and so that's why we need to also alter the Y rotation once again so right now it's at negative 27 so if I angled it a little bit more as you see it's starting to become a more and more angled just to this pole right here so negative 35 seems about right and I want to bring it closer to this object and let's see how it turns out now if you want to make it more accurate you can go in between these two keyframes and uh, make some adjustments but to keep it simple you only need to use two keyframes and yeah that's it and there's one more tutorial or part that I would like to add to my motion tracking series for Sony Vegas uh, it involves using different masking layers to cover up text uh, but I'll go more in depth about that later on and uh, for those of you guys who dislike my videos just for one troll video you can always unsubscribe you don't need to dislike my videos all the time uh, and lastly I just hit 14k today so I just want to say thank you guys for uh, being with me and watch my videos throughout these past uh, two or three years I've been on YouTube I couldn't have made it without you guys and uh, I'll try and put out more Sony Vegas tutorials uh, alongside my Cinema 4D tutorials so I'll see you guys next time